So welcome everyone to another mindfulness moment with Saybrook University. I'm Dr. Shannon McLean Sims. And today I would like to guide a bit more of an active practice. Um, we know that meditation can take on many forms, certainly in a seated, uh, in a seated place, but also as you're moving your body. And here we are at the end of a week and whatever that week has looked like for you, maybe it's involved a lot of sitting, a lot of sedentary work, maybe behind the desk or behind a screen of some sort. Um, I know that's certainly been true for me this week and wanting to bring in just a bit more movement into our practice today. And all the while grounding into the breath and really feeling into that space that we have in the abdominal cavity, in the chest, and in the role of the diaphragm. You know, a lot of seated time, we forget to breathe or we're busy. And that diaphragm might get tight and might allow us to breathe shallow rather than more full and spacious. So in these next several moments, um, I first would like to begin by inviting you just to, to be as you are and just drop into the feeling of the breath. So before we even begin to invite in movement, I'm just allowing the body to be still. And so maybe you would like to be seated or if you choose to stand or however you would like to be, just inviting yourself and your awareness into the body, just dropping in. And first even being aware of how that breath is arriving in your body. And just noticing the depth of the breath. You know, is it, is it shallow today in this moment? Or do you feel a bit more expansiveness in the lungs? And not trying to change the way that you're breathing, but noticing the cadence. Is the breath smooth or jagged, a bit more rigid? And as you focus on your breath, you might even notice the diaphragm, that balloon-like muscle that connects the lungs and the rib cage and separates the chest from the rest of the abdominal cavity. You can just feel in that diaphragm connecting just right above where the belly button is. And just feeling how, how your diaphragm is. Does it feel tight? Does it feel a bit more flexible and open? And as you pay attention to this part, this muscle in your body, you might also be feeling how the ribs are expanding and contracting with the breath, right? Even feeling along the side body, even in the back. Just as you breathe, where are you feeling that? And just noticing. And now we'll gradually move into a standing posture, if that feels, if that feels comfortable for you. you know, or you might choose to remain seated. This can be done seated as well. But if you're able, I invite you to rise up, stand, find that comfortable balanced place, noticing the feet on the floor. Again, maintaining, you're still maintaining that connection with the breath. Has it shifted now that you're standing? 
you feel a bit more expansive in the abdomen and the chest. And as I guide this practice, feel free to follow along or not. This is simply just guidance, suggestions. And we'll be inviting in a little bit of movement along with the breath. So as you inhale, allowing your arms to reach up towards the sky, inhaling and feeling how this opens up the lungs and allows more breath into the body, reaching. And as you exhale, allowing the arms to just float down by your side. And matching that movement with the breath, inhaling, maybe you're looking up too as you reach, feeling that expansiveness, the side body, front, back of the lungs. Exhale, arms floating down. Maybe allow the face, a smile to arrive onto the face as you do this. And following your breath, allowing that to be the guide for the movement here. Nice and slow as arms rising up, breathing in, exhale, smile, lowering the arms down. So many good things happening here as you do this, bringing in some movement, improving that energy exchange, oxygen exchange through the body, circulation of the blood, feeding the tissues. Just doing this for a few, few rounds here, noticing and really feeling, being mindful of how the lungs are expanding and contracting in response to this movement. And then with this next round, rising the arms up, reaching up, and then we're gonna bring the arms down into a sort of cactus type motion. I'm feeling that expansiveness in the chest. Again, inhaling, arms are reaching up and you can still smile as the, the arms come down into a cactus type shape and noticing how this changes the breath. As we sit at our computers or hunched over the steering wheel or maybe while we're eating, we can get tight in the pectoral area. So as we do this, as we bring our arms into this cactus formation, we're really opening up the chest, improving that range of motion in the shoulders. So just doing what you can. Yeah, maybe one more of these here. And still inhaling, arms are reaching up and then just bending over to one side. Ah, now we're getting into a different sort of expansion in the lungs. Again, matching that breath with the movement. Yeah, inhaling is gonna bring us back up, reaching up, exhaling, bending over to one side. And you might even bring the legs to be involved here as well, maybe as you Arc and reach over to that one side, maybe stretching out the leg, really feeling that all the way down through the hip muscles. Again, doing what feels good here. And we'll just allow the arms then to rest down by the side, just pausing for a moment even noticing how the body might feel different after moving just a little bit here. And now we'll feel the lungs in a different way by inviting in a little bit of twisting. So as you inhale and fill your lungs, on the exhale, just gentle twist to one side. Inhaling brings us back to center. Exhale, twisting around in the other direction. And you can really let this be as intense or this twisting as, as deeply as what feels good for you and 
being mindful of your spine and not to crank yourself too far. And just noticing here, how, how do the lungs change? How does your breathing change in response to this movement? And maybe you do wanna bring the legs into motion here. So as you twist to one side, maybe tapping a toe out in front and coming back. And twisting to tap the other toe out in front. Kind of move at your pace. Maybe you want to go a little bit quicker with this and feel how this twisting along with that toe tap out in front. Just seeing how that changes the breath. Really getting that movement. As we do this, we are improving that exchange of oxygen in the lungs which is doing all sorts of good things for our bodies, our minds. Tissue repair within the lungs itself. Just moving here and maybe if you want to keep up with this twisting and this toe tap, feel free for a few moments or maybe you now having moved a little bit Oh, I wanna move in a different way, maybe just free form, feeling how that breath kind of guides the movement and guides your body, stretching the diaphragm, feeling that expansiveness. If you move, maybe a little twisting motion or arcing, reaching. Mm. And then allowing that movement to become a bit more subtle now, just gradually bringing yourself back. Standing, less movement, coming on back. And then just noticing again, if you come into stillness, how has the breath changed? Are you feeling differently in your body now? Do you feel the same? And then I invite you to come back into a seated position or remain standing, whatever feels good for you in this moment as we Start to bring ourselves back and returning to this space, just acknowledging this experience that you've had. As we come into closing here, just acknowledging your own experience. And if you do choose to speak, being mindful also of those who are here. You might want to remain even moving for a bit longer if this feels right for you. Or returning, maybe sharing. And just resting in whatever fruit of your practice has emerged from this experience. And thank you all so much for joining me here today. <laughs>